The core is the human being's whole capacity, a glowing, vital mass, both the source and the perceiver of life force. The core has complete unity. No duality exists at this first level of reality, no either or, no good, bad. It is an indivisible vibratory operation, a process in which every person knows the truth instinctively by sensing the pulse of life. The qualitative characteristics of the Core's movement are the primal positive emotions, are movements to make contact and unify with the outside world. These can be summed up as one supreme expression, love. The core's energy flow takes a spiral form. This can be likened to the formation of the fibers of the heart, which twist as it is created. Human wisdom throughout the ages has rightly pictured the heart as the wellspring of the positive emotions. Dante intuited the helical movement of core energy in the Divine Comedy with the image of man ascending in a spiral up a conical mountain. At the top is love. Dante also pictured man descending a spiral cone into hell. At the bottom, he meets the devil who is frozen in a lake. Others are imprisoned in the ice as well, some up to the knees, some up to the belly, some up to the neck. Translation, an outreaching life spirals upward to love. A frigid life spirals downward into hell. Dante's metaphor highlights an aspect of the core that is strongly called on in my therapeutic approach. And this is its perceptive genius. The human center has the highest ability and intelligence. This intelligence functions beyond the strictly intellectual capacities of assimilation, analysis, and synthesis. It gives us intuitive solutions to the extrinsic problems and mysteries of life because it can comprehend existential realities objectively and unify opposites thus unveiling root truths. The great innovations on earth have been made through intuition. Freud saw this. Walking with him one day, the playwright Thornton Wilder asked him, if your discoveries are so important, how come nobody has thought them up before you? Freud smiled sweetly and answered, I didn't discover them. The poets have always known these things. 